what day is today? I don't know. Does anybody know what day it is? Because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Seriously, what day is it? I don't, I don't know. I do know it's the middle of June. And we've only got like a couple of weeks left, but you know what that means, right? Y'all know what that means, right? It's time to get ready for fall. And Halloween, it's time to get ready for fall and Halloween. Hi y'all, how y'all doing today? I hope everybody's still staying safe and healthy. What are we doing today? We're making pumpkins. Join me. I recorded over an hour, maybe an hour and a half of making this little pumpkin right here. Is it a gourd or is it a pumpkin? I don't know. It's cute though. Uh, yeah, it's so we're, we're doing two parts. This is part one. We're going to put it, whoops, hi Frank. We're going to put it together. That's what we're going to do. So I found a crochet pattern for pumpkins. I will link it down below, right down there somewhere. I actually did not use her pattern, but I jumped off of her pattern because that's what I do. I did a, did a stitch in the back loop in the first row and then I did three more rows and then I did into the back row again or the back of the, the stitch and then three more rows and so forth. I messed this one up a little but that's okay. Somewhere along the lines I actually added a stitch to my row and there was a, a bump in, in it and it was of course you know, this is like my second project I've done in crocheting. But, look how cute it turned out. When was the last time you saw a pumpkin that was perfectly round? Here, I'll show you. I did a large one. This little guy, we're gonna put this guy together. I made a giant one. I made a giant one. Look how cute. Now, I don't know what I did. Oh yeah, I did order it. When I did this one, it was a little wonky because somewhere along the way, I added a couple of stitches and there was a bump in it. But like I said, look, it made it more pumpkin-like. It made it very much pumpkin-like. So, this one, so right here, as you can see, it jogs a little bit. So, when the next part, you'll see why it does that and I added another uh, added a stitch here and then I added oh, I think it was around in here I added another one so it's gonna be a little wonky so I can replicate that first pumpkin I did by mistake so the lady from the original pattern said and she did a smaller one you knit as many three times as many rows as it is this way. So you would take this, if you were doing this one properly, the way she did it, and then over again, which is what I did here with this one. It worked out, but I'm trying something different with this one. I only went a little past twice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, this is the right side, see? These are the rows. This is that row into this into the chain. It makes this little ridge, which will make it look a little pumpkin-like. I guess you could use this side. It's hard to tell probably on camera, but you see the little ribbing on it. You could use either side. I'm going to use this side. I like this side. So what I'm going to do is put the right sides together. I left a very long tail. Move, little pumpkin. Move. I left a very long tail to do this. One of these sides, see, it's not going to line up. This is how you get that little thing there. But I'm going to take a darning needle. Ta -da! 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 Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da
take my darning needle, thread it in. It's really long. There's a reason I left it that long. Just have to mess with it and work with it. And we are just going to whip stitch along these two edges. Okay, so we got that seam up. I'm just showing you what I did. What I did. So you can follow along with what she did. It was so cute, so pretty, so perfect. Mine are not perfect. They're not going to be perfect. And I used a different pattern than she did. I just jumped off from her. So get down to the end. I'm going to tie that off. Okay, now, well, you think this is why we had the long tail, we are going to stitch along the edge like so. It's just like you were, you know, like you were actually sewing something, which basically you are. Do it as wide as you want, as small as you want, don't matter. I'm not even sure if this is the top or the bottom yet. We'll find out in a minute. I'm further away from my AC vent. I wonder how. So just keep stitching around until you get back to where you started. This is also how you close up a teddy bear head. I need to make another teddy bear. I may make one for Halloween this year. A little Halloween themed teddy bear because I haven't made a teddy bear in years. Okay, now that I've made it all the way around, okay, we've made it all the way around and we're going to take our working thread and we are going to just gently pull it so you don't break your yarn, do it gently until you close it up. Ta-da! Now, I took this again and tied it off. Okay, I'll give it one more last tug and tied it off. Like so. Ta-da! Now what, Anne? Well, Look, that looks like you could make a hat like this. I'm assuming that's how you crochet a hat. Of course, wider. Now, we're going to turn it right side out because I wanted the little ridges on the outside. See, imperfections, because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Now, you've got it like that. As you can see, it's all wonky at the top. And that's going to be its charm. Leave it like that, and then we take stuffing and stuff this puppy. You can stuff it a lot. You can stuff it a little. I'm just gonna stuff it until I decide it's enough stuffing. I'm not gonna stuff it too tight. Get in there yeah, a little more. Yeah, a little more. Oh, and I'm just using a polyfill. I don't even know how long I've had this polyfill or where I got it. I used to work at a craft store slash fabric store that rhymes with Schmoans. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, next thing you're going to need to do, very close to the camera now, sorry. Pull that thread up through there. And we are going to stitch around the edge like we did the other one. Okay, let's see, you'll start from the outside. I'm going to, do I want to back? Yeah, I want to do a back, I want to do a back stitch so I can sort of anchor it. No, I don't want to, no, forget I said that. So we're going to just stitch around like we did the bottom or top, depending on how it looks when I'm done. We still don't know which is the top or the bottom yet. No, more than likely, this is going to be the top. More than likely. 
Now I made some doo-doo dolls and knitted one. And if you knit like I did this one, you're basically doing the same thing. My, my little tiny knitted pumpkin, I knit two and purl one ribbed. This is what I did, which gave it that, that little detailing there. And I will, I guess, right down below, here's my little jog there that you're not supposed to have if you crocheted properly. But I don't care. It's working out the way I want it to. And I'm loving this. It's not perfect, no. Oh, see, there's a big hole there where I added that stitch. No, it's not perfect. It's not even close. But it's super cute and I like it. All right, so we have made it all the way around. And now we just, can you see that? Am I even in focus? Okay. And then just tighten it up. Tighten that puppy up. Yeah. Try not to get stuffing in your. See, look. Yeah, squish it a little. It's a tall, skinny pumpkin. So yeah, that's going to be tough. So tighten that up a little more. Here, I'll squish it while I'm doing this. Tighten it up a little more carefully so you don't break it. Now, you got to tie this off. Oops. So I came way over there. Come back way over here. Like so. Okay, I'm gonna go under that string. Oops, make sure that's tight. Go under that way. There. Now I got a little hole there. It's okay. This is gonna be the top. I'm gonna be putting a putting a stem right there. So now I could come back over and close this gap up a little bit, like so, which I will. Ta-da! Maybe come a little across diagonally and across this way and tighten it up that way like so there okay now looks like a mr peanut i almost look like a mr peanut i want it to squish down a little more so i'm going to go through what i just did try to hang on to it as you can squish it let's where am i at squish it try to reach it without losing Oh, where is it at? Is it not coming through? Is it bending? It's bending. Okay. Here we go. Let's try it again. Push it all the way through. There it is. There we go. All the way through and pull it. And that's going to contour it a little more. See, so that may end up I'll squish it around here in a minute. So this may end up as a top. We still don't know yet. When I finish squishing and contouring and all that kind of stuff. Let's get this tied off a little bit. Uh, get under there. Uh, what are you doing? Okay. Pull a little tight. A little squishy little guy now. Pull that through. Oops. Give me a little slack there. Go over it again. Ow! I just scratched myself. I don't need help getting all scratched up. Let's go under your stitch. Oh, where's my tail? There we go. Pull it tight. Ta da! Now, what you need to do is bury. Ugh, just gonna bury this. Let's go in through that way. Grab a stitch or two and go back through another way. 
This is also how you can contour if you were making a teddy bear or something. You just, it's like weaving in the ends of a project, but you're weaving through the inside of this, so. Whoa! Pull it up a little bit and snip it, let it go, and it buries it. Ta-da! Okay, he's a little wonky looking still. So, just sort of smoosh him around, take off the cat hair. Take off the cat hair. He's actually a cute little pumpkin. There we go. That looked like my hair. Okay, he's a little gourd. Let's make a stem for him. All right, that's it for part one. We've got most of this together, stuffed, I think. Yeah. Part two, I'm going to show you how I made the eye cord and the little cute little leaves. Join me. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a button right down there and down below. There's a link to, to subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified when I upload again. Like this video if you like this kind of video. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Maybe you got some friends that will like my videos. Go ahead, share it. I'll wait. Did you? All right. Y'all be safe and healthy. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.